Hey guys, it's Shay from Skull Gamer Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl video. And in today's video, I'm going to see what happens if you have more draft picks than there are players available in the draft. How this is going to work. Right now, I have 41 picks. I have 35 first rounders. If you don't know how I got to 35 first rounders, watch my previous video where I tried to get more than 32 first rounders in a single draft when there's only 32 teams. And before we get too far into this video, I want to say on part one of this, I told you guys 100 likes, and I would come out with getting the world record of first round picks as quickly as I can. You guys are at 151 likes in less than 24 hours. I didn't think you guys would do it. You guys are crazy. Huge thank you to you guys. I am working on getting that video put together as quickly as I can. I'm going to be simming through tons of seasons to get as many coaching credits as I can. I just wanted to let you guys know that video is on the way. I wanted to get this video out to you guys as quickly as I could as well, just as a huge thank you for the support. I have five more second rounders and I have a third rounder. So I have 41 picks. I did the math wrong. There's 10 players per page, five pages. There's 50 players. But here's my premise. I'm going to draft a player. I'm going to draft Grayson. I'm going to trade Grayson. And guess what? I'm back to 35 first rounders. We're now down to 49 players. So I'm just going to draft a player. I'm going to immediately trade him. And we're going to keep cycling through. And eventually, I think there's going to be like no players left that I can draft. And when there's no players left for me to draft, I want to see what happens. So here we go. Do I have us down to four pages yet? Probably not quite. No. Nope. Getting close, though. There we go. I'm signing and trading them one at a time so they're all tradable. We're down to four pages now. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think when I get down to the last like 10 or so players, I'll just keep those players because I should be able to have like a 10 man roster, a couple open spots, and then just sell all my remaining draft picks for coaching credits. So, Leo Grassu trade you Casey Ariza that's an unfortunate name uh, Bo Van Noy Deuces Rodrigo Treader Rodrigo Blankenship and JC Treader it is fun to see some of the NFL name matchups Vernon Bortles okay and we're down to three pages now keep trading these guys Elton Ebukam shout out to you Jay Coney trade you a parry and need them that's quite the name so yeah we're down to 23 draftable players and continuing to trade them here we go i'm getting terrible trades but this is for science this isn't for profit we're down to 17 players okay we're getting there starting to stack up our third round picks we're down to only two first rounders left and our last first rounder, Brooke Olubi. And now round two, there's 14 players. Did nobody pick anyone? Probably. And that's kind of funny if that's what happened. It's actually really funny if that's what happened. And I think that is what happened. We're down to 12 players. You can only keep so many kickers. We're down to 10 players. Now, I can only keep two kickers, so... Get rid of Khalif. Let's sign these last nine. And I don't even know what these guys' positions are. I have no idea if this is going to be a good team or a bad team. And okay. So I keep all of my draft picks for next year? What just happened? Oh, here we go. That was weird. Do you guys see that? I went back to the draft and it was going to take me to week one with my picks. But now it's going to let me sell my picks. I'm good with that. So, I wish I had just simmed that first game and seen what happened. But when you run out of picks, you can just sell the rest of your picks for coaching credits. I wouldn't advise spending your coaching credits on players just to turn them into picks, just to turn them back into coaching credits. So you're going to lose a ton of coaching credits in that process. But I did it for science. I did it for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed 
today's video seeing what happens when you have more draft picks than there are players available to draft. If you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to leave a like. If you're new around here, please subscribe. I'll be posting more Retro Bowl content. If you like Retro Bowl, you might as well subscribe. If you don't, you're just gonna miss out on what hopefully is some pretty good Retro Bowl content. But with all that being said, that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Once again, MG from Skull Gaming Network. Thanks everybody for tuning in. And until next time, and as always, peace out.